Hello and welcome to a new Unreal Engine video and today we're going to do something cool uh, and that is uh, connect things via cables because the next mini jam is coming up and that is about connections. You know, things like mini motorways, um, connecting wires, you know, connecting things. So we're going to do a simple cable system um, and it's very simple. So to get started, uh, what we'll need is a first person character interface attached to our character and that just has the simple as so right here that's just the simple as as returning self so here we'll just need a few things okay so besides the um besides that um i did create a few assets here i did model just a tiny cube and a, a pole here you can see this isn't custom actor which i'll get to but i just modeled two things a pole and a, a cube um, and I'll put those in the assets folder. Then there's an actor here. So the actor has a static mesh component. It also has this cable attachment component, which is also a static mesh component. It's a custom component over in these components. Now the attachment component here that's on this actor is just a blank component. It's meant to be a marker component, so there's nothing here. Um, this is so when we scan through looking for things on specific actors, we can look for this component. Now you can always look, do like do an actor and then do like an interface, maybe call to get like a, a cable position, but I'm just going to do it off the actor cause it's, it, or off this component cause it'll be easier off this actor. So we've got the static mesh, which will just be the pole. And then this, which is a, this also is a static mesh component. You can see here the parent class is a static mesh component. So we, uh, add that cube so it has a pole and a cube something like this and now to connect these together i made an actor component this is going to go on our character and what this one's going to do is it might look a little intimidating here at first but it's fairly self-explanatory we've got a couple of key presses up top here i'll go through those but basically on the begin play we'll grab it as the character and then we'll save it so that'll be our first variable now we do have a couple variables over here and i'll talk, I'll talk through these in a second so the first one here is our cable component class. Now, this is the built-in cable component that is in Unreal. This isn't anything custom. It's just a cable component. Then we have our attachment uh, component, which is this one over here. We've got a character. We have is cabling, so are we currently cabling? We have an update time, timer handle, as you can see probably where this is going, view distance, uh, and then the cable slack. So that'll be any extra. So... When we begin play, we save our first version character, and then we have a couple of custom events down here, which is going to handle a lot of the logic. So we have begin cabling, that's gonna set up our timer. Like we have, like we've, I love the timer, so basically a timer, which is going to be the update. And the update is just gonna be a simple line trace from the character camera. It's gonna be a line trace by channel, off that view distance, it's a line trace. I'm nothing new, you shouldn't, nothing new here. Uh, the only thing different here off of these line traces, though, what we're going to do doing is we're going to be checking to see if the hit component, the component that we're hitting, is a child class of our attachment point, and that's what I was saying by using it as a marker. So this will be a marker component, basically. So we can just check to see if it is, and then we're just going to save it. And that's all we're going to do on the update. So this update time is set to, I think, 0 0.01. Yeah, 0 0.01. And so that'll loop through. We have end cabling here. Uh, which will just invalidate that timer handle and then stop the is cabling. And so yeah, so we're just doing a simple line trace, checking to see if we have if we got a hit component. If we do, we'll just promote that to a variable. If we don't have anything, we won't set it. Same thing off of if we don't have any hit, we'll just null it out. No big deal. Now the big meat and potatoes here comes from okay. So E and F here is just going to do our start and end basically. It's just going to be our control of our R is what's going to control the the bulk of it. So basically what we want to do is when we press R, we're going to check to see if the current component that we're looking at is valid. So if we have if we're looking at something that's valid, we are going to just check to see is the owner is not the same. So basically is the components not on the same owner? And basically if we're not cabling, so is this the first time? Yes, it, it, if it goes down false, it's the first time, so we're going to start cabling. And then we're going to set the start component to this look at component. So this start to the look at. And then now when we press R again, it's going to go through and this 
this is going to be set to true, so now it's going to go up here. And what this is going to do is this is going to take our start, so the first one that we looked at. It's going to add that cable component. The end location, this is actually technically an offset, so we want to set this to zero. Then we set the cable length. The cable length is just going to be a distance plus that cable slack, so whatever you want. If you want a little bit of extra on the cable, you can easily do it this way. We'll set the visibility to visible. I don't know why it was coming up invisible when I was testing it, but it is what it is. And then we set the attachment end component to that look at, which is now our second way around. So now we go from the start to the end, and then we're just going to end the cabling, which is just going to invalidate the timer. And that's pretty much it. And then the results of that is now when we hit play, we can hit E, we'll start. Cabling. Now I did have it set to debug the line trace through, so now we can go up to top to this component, which is our marker component. We'll hit E for the first time, or R for the first time, and then now we'll go over here and we'll hit R, and we have a cable. Nice. Now like I said, you can play around with the slack and things like that. We have some null pointers, but... We have some errors with null pointers, but that should just get you the basics of up and running of attaching things with cables. So, yeah, you can just debug through it, fill in what you need. I mean, obviously, this is helpful for things like power systems or if you want to connect things via cables. That's pretty much it. All you have to do. And uh, I hope you guys found that helpful. And I will see you in the next one.